who are the seven princes of hell or called the seven demons as we know hell is undoubtedly a dreadful place filled with pain and suffering the one who is subjected to it is destined to eternal suffering but according to some christian traditions the souls of sinners are not only the ones who live in hell they share their misery in the company of the most sinister creatures conventionally known as demons among these demons seven stand out the seven princes of hell these demons are related to each of the seven deadly sins let's see who are the seven princes of hell one the bell figure the lord of the fire is known as the demon of laziness according to some traditions bel figor had once been a powerful archangel named bol kior but when the revelation of lucifer was unleashed in the heavens he did not join the rebellion and angels nor did he support the army of the god's angels due to this action he was considered a defector and thrown into hell The second one is the Azazel. Azazel was among the fallen angels who rebelled against God. At the dawn of time, Azazel was carnally related to the human who lived on earth. The fruit of this union were known as the Nephilim. Azazel's descendants would taint the earth and because of that was swept away by the God generated flood. Azazel was once had been an angel and now became an arch demon which represents the sins of earth The next one is the Mammon Mammon was one of the many pre-Christian deities He started to be seen as a devilish figure associated with the sin of greed and avarice Jesus from them the cult of money personified in Mammon's figure therefore men cannot serve Mammon and God at the same time the next is Beel Zebub Beel Zebub is associated with the figure a Baal a former semitic god of fertility and merger of the lord of the flies The merger gave rise to the figure of Beelzebul to the demon of apostasy. He is regarded as one of the most powerful demons only behind Lucifer. Because of this unquenchable hunger turned into a relentless devourer. The plague brought by the demon devoured everything in it. Therefore, he is associated with the sin of Gluttony. The next one is Asmodeus. Asmodeus is one of the most powerful infernal demons. His origin is found in the most impure man that ever existed. He was the king of Sodom, the sin city. Asmodeus guided Sodom's inhabitants towards the sin. Thus, the city endured God's wrath and was devastated. Asmodeus, the most corrupt of men, was elevated to a demon when he reached hell. Due to his lust, he is associated with the sin of lust. The next one is Leviathan. Leviathan is a dreadful creature that lives in the depths of the Mediterranean. His massive power awakens fear in the hearts of men. The description of this creature is found in the book of Job. Job's book also describes it as something like a water drop. The sea demon Leviathan is associated with the deadly sin of envy. Then comes the Lucifer. Lucifer was the leader of the angels who rebelled against God 
Lucifer was the most beautiful of all celestial beings, for having such a wide array of qualities, the sin of pride took hold of him. His excessive pride led him to find himself equal to God, and so he conducted a rebellion against his will. Lucifer and rebellion forces were defeated by the angelic forces of Archangel Michael and then the rebelling forces were expelled from heaven and then thrown down into hell. In the depths of the earth, Lucifer and the other hellish princes conspired to corrupt God's work. These demons await the days preceding Christ's return when they will take the earth through the Antichrist against fighting greater forces.